Dear students, this exercise is about making an impression using polyether of an onlay. So for that exercise, you're going to need a mannequin uh, with a prep on only prep on tooth number 30. OK, the dispenser to use the polyether material. You're going to also need a lower right partial impression tray and two different types of polyether. You're going to need the polyether in the light body uh, with the white mixing tip and the white intraoral tip. And also you're going to need the polyether in the medium body or medium viscosity with the purple mixing tip. That material is going to be used on the tray. So this first exercise is pretty straightforward. You have to make an impression of this only prep on tooth number 30. So first you have to test the partial tray. Then you're going to start uh, making the impression. So you're going to start with the light material. You dispense the first part of the mixture because it's not well mixed. You start placing the material on the occlusal areas of the adjacent tooth. And then you start to move on with the mixing tip always um in contact with the prep so you're trying to avoid to make to make some uh air voids or air bubbles inside the impression and then you make sure to cover all the area of the prep including buckle and lingual surface and then you move on to the premolars and and then you just remove the tip when you're in the premolars now you're going to place the material on the tray. You dispense the first part and then you use the tray material uh, on the tray. In this case, we're using the hand mix, but we can use the uh, panda mix as well. And then you complete the impression. One thing that is important is to wait the setting time of the material and then you're ready to ready to remove so you should be able to complete that and copy all the finishing lines without any air bubbles the goal here is to make sure that you're gonna copy all the finishing lines of the prep uh, and then you should be able to identify those areas